Hello everyone. Today, we're tackling AAF files in Premiere Pro. Have you ever received an AAF file and wondered how to use it? It can seem a little confusing, but it's actually pretty straightforward. Let's dive into how to import and work with these files in Premiere Pro. First, let's understand what an AAF file actually is. An AAF file, or Advanced Authoring Format file, is a media file format. It's often used for exchanging project information between different video editing software, like Avid Media Composer and Premiere Pro. Think of it like a recipe that tells Premiere Pro how to rebuild a sequence. It contains information about the edits, clips, and effects used in the original project. Now, let's move on to importing. To import an AAF file into Premiere Pro, start by opening Premiere Pro. Go to File in the top menu. Then, select Import. Navigate to the location of your AAF file. Select the AAF file and click Open. Premiere Pro will then read the AAF file. A new sequence should appear in your project panel. This sequence will contain the clips and edits described in the AAF file. After importing, it's important to check the imported sequence. Make sure all the clips are present and in the correct order. Sometimes, Premiere Pro might not be able to link to all the original media. This can happen if the media files have been moved or renamed. If you see any offline media, you'll need to relink them. Right-click on the offline clips in the project panel. Select Link Media. Navigate to the location of the original media files. Choose the correct file. Premiere Pro will then relink the clip. Repeat this process for any other offline media. Let's talk about troubleshooting. Sometimes, you might encounter issues when importing AAF files. If the AAF file was created in an older version of Avid, it might not be fully compatible with the latest version of Premiere Pro. You can try opening the AAF file in a newer version of Avid and exporting it again. Another common issue is missing effects or transitions. AAF files don't always carry all the information about complex effects. You might need to recreate some of these manually in Premiere Pro. After successful import and relinging, you can begin editing the sequence. The AAF file preserves the original edit points. You can adjust the timing, add new effects, and refine the edit to your liking. Remember to save your project regularly. This will help prevent any data loss. Using AAF files efficiently can significantly speed up your workflow. It allows you to collaborate with editors using different software. It also provides a way to transfer projects between different editing systems. That's it for importing AAF files into Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial useful, please consider liking this video and leaving a comment below. Your support helps me create more content like this.